So you mentioned the bus just a little bit ago. So mm-hmm. the bus was the idea from the start. It was, no. Or was just like I was hoping you were going to ask that because it actually feeds into what you were saying yeah. about Jesus coming to the people. Okay. So we wanted to open the coffee shop, and but we. We didn't have the money, first of all. Because you just spent it all on a machine. Because we did it all on a machine. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and I uh, remember it was, it was like, we have $7,500 in our savings account. We felt <laughs> like being. Like. Well, so we felt. <laughs> We felt like we needed to be downtown for whatever reason. Yep. Like downtown Oklahoma City, we really felt a strong pull to being downtown Oklahoma okay. City. At the time, food trucks were kind of a big deal. H and was going on. I heard on heard. Um, H and so, had just started. Yeah. Yeah. Like we were in the process of of starting this. Sure, because we established the business in 2014. Uh-huh. We didn't. Yeah. And we went down to like Elemental, and there was like a food truck out. And we were like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're, we're doing a thing. And we we're like, sweet. So we got some food and we drank some coffee. And then like, and then by the time we'd finished everything and like the bus was launched and right. H&A was in it was like, it was like full throttle. Right. So we wanted to open a coffee shop. We didn't have the money for a brick and mortar. Um, so we were looking around at food trucks, but we didn't want to lose the atmosphere of a coffee shop. We didn't want to lose the idea of being in proximity, you know, the whole like quick hand out the window thing, like we didn't really want that. And so we were like, well, what about an Airstream or like an RV? And then we were coming back from something somewhere and we drove past this beaten down double decker bus in off Reno <clears throat> on um, in a mechanics in the front of a mechanics shop. And we were like, oh, okay. That's it. Like, like on our way to a thing, she pulls out a napkin and was like, "You could, you could put seating upstairs, <laughs> you could do a bar on the side." And, just, and like, we still have that drawing. Like, yeah, it I was do. like the, the the original vision, and it's like she drew up the whole thing before we even got to wherever we were going. <laughs> so we, well, we pulled over, and I was like, "We have to ask about this." Mm-hmm. Remember? So we went into this truck mechanics place. Um, what is the name of it? We still go there. I actually uh, never looked at the name because I've just always known the location. Precision Truck and Trailer. Precision Truck and Trailer. Shout out to them. Um, so we pull For in and, and we inquire things. about it. And um, Rick was like, well, that bus is spoken for. Um, his name was Rick Miller. Um, but he was like, I can get you in contact with people in the UK who helped import these dozen or so buses that drove around the U.S. and um, well, Rick man, Rick did maintenance for yeah, a he was small like, fleet I myself of was them, trained to do uh, maintenance on them. for a little makeup company. So he spent like ten company. years following this fleet around the country, maintaining all these double deckers, which is why this double decker was at this shop. Right. Um, so yeah. so so um, he got us hooked up with Chris and Pam York in in Hampshire, England, and they were like this. I think retired old couple and they helped us track down a couple different options and we chose Maybell. We named her Maybell and we sent them a bunch of money and we prayed that she'd make it across the pond. Yeah. The bank kept saying, Are no. you, you know, once you send the wire, it's you, there's no way to get it back. And we're, and we're like, yeah. And they're like, okay, but have you, so have you seen the bus? No. We've seen have pictures. You, have you met these? Have you met these people? We skyped with them one time. Have you? So, but you know, it's you can't come back. And we're like, yeah, that's fine. And they're like, okay. We're like, just send it. It'll be okay. I, I like. And later that night, we were like, uh. I was fine with it. I felt a piece about it. I like to say, I like to think that I've got a little bit of intuition when it comes to like reading people. And so, um, I think at one point I said, you know. If they conned us, I don't even think I would be mad because they were just the sweetest, kindest old British couple. And it was like, there's a there's a special ring in hell for people that can pretend to be that nice right. and then stab you in the back. Yeah. So I I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be I would be borderline impressed. But to bring us back full circle, <laughs> it really worked out because the more this it be, it really did just this entire process. Like once we found the bus, it just opened doors. Like the fact that this mechanic was who he was and knew who he knew and got us this deal that he got us. And these people were willing to do this free of charge for us and <clears throat> which probably should have been a tip off, but it all was fine. Um, and just us realizing like, wow, like now we do actually get to be a chance to like be Jesus and go to people and meet them where they are. We were feeling hesitant about 
having a building anyways for that same reason. Mm-hmm. Um, which things have changed now, and we can sure. get into that later, but yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So Question, that. was the bus more or less expensive than the coffee machine? It was, it was more. more. Significantly yeah. more or just like a little bit more? Do you want no, to remember so, how much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, because people ask all the time. Yeah. This is, uh, so. In 2014. Yes. I'm sure they've gone up now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so, so, I mean, you know, like you used to ride out to school on yeah, a double decker, right? These, and so everywhere. like, if you think about like buying a schoolie here, yeah. I mean, you can just get them for yeah. practically nothing. So but we looked the bus, here. and we looked here for a double decker, but because they're rare here, yeah. I mean, they they're like a hundred thousand dollars or something that's just been rotting in the field yeah. and all it was just crazy so we bought the bus I do think Chris and Pam took a little bit off the top I'm sure they did um and then um we paid export fees import fees and shipping and a five day road trip for you me and Rick because we didn't know how to drive the bus I never driven anything bigger than the Suburban and I almost had a panic attack one night laying in bed I think technically I probably did (laughs) I didn't know it at the time but I, I definitely did um uh, so he, he drove it back for us. Um, so all of that was like 30 grand. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, so the bus itself, the line that commits to the other expenses. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and the, the GB five, we did end up selling, okay. um, and we, we bought a new machine for that. Um, because, uh, the technician from Topeka, when he went to install it on the bus was like, this is not. This is a pretty temperamental machine, and you're just going to be bouncing it down the road at 45 miles an hour. I don't think that's going to end very well. Yeah. So, yeah. Wise choice. Uh, Wise choice. Yeah. Where, what port did the bus come into? Did you have to go to get it? Norfolk. Oh. Norfolk, Virginia. Mm-hmm. That's a long way away. It was. It took way. us five days to drive back. Yeah. Yeah. And it was beautiful. It was oh, like yeah, it is. The end of October, so yeah. like the leaves were turning. It was freezing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Big leaf changing month. We yeah. had a U joint actually crack. We're driving, and Rick all of a sudden was like, oh, I gotta pull over. So he pulls over. He's a th- small man, thank goodness, because the space underneath the bus is like six inches. Oh, yeah. Like so he shimmies under there, there, and he's like, Oh, I was afraid of that. Apparently, he cracked a U joint, which is like a connection point of the steering column. Okay. So. Oh, he was a drivetrain. Yeah, kind it of was a, a U joint. Big issue. Was it a drive train? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think it like because the the engine's in the back. Yeah. He said if it would have fallen, it would have just taken out. Yeah, because it was in the middle. Like yeah. the rest of it, if it would have cracked and come off. So we had a yeah. minor emergency, but we're really glad we. Yeah, and it was red when it he like, The bus? No, it, no, was, it was red, red white, white, and blue. blue. Yeah. Okay. So it had been a couple different colors for a long time. And um, it was originally this like really dark kind of forest green. Um, and Lori really wanted to paint the whole thing. I wanted it to be forest green. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. And I was just like, right. But like anytime somebody like I just like for the for the next 10 years, I don't want to hear. Oh, I wish you guys had painted it red. Um, And we couldn't decide. So we put it to the people. Yeah, like normal, healthy relationship Mm -hmm. problem solvings. We just like put a vote out there. Someone else do it. (laughs) Fine, fine. We're going to do a public vote and we'll see who wins. And he won by a long shot, which was fine. It was good. But no, it was. And the seats are green. That was the natural original seating was like this green Mm -hmm. leather. Mm -hmm. Um, But this bus was a 1972 Bristol VRT bus and it was a a school bus for a while. Mm -hmm. And then it was maintained by a collector. Um, for a number of years, and I believe we purchased it from that collector. No, it was sold to some one other person, oh, and they it? had it for like two years, okay. and then we bought it from them. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. So it arrives, so you get it back to Oklahoma City, and you're like, I mean, are you thinking, what have we done? Or you, I mean, you've just done a five day road trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're thinking, yes. I'm tired. I want yeah. a shower, I want a warm, because it wasn't a warm trip either, because the no. bus isn't. Then uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's not temperature controlled or anything. Right. But um, then we started my. Um, I was like, okay, we need to make. So first thing that we did is we made. It's, we probably made like six different timelines. So we made like 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 the task timeline chart, flow chart, whatever. So we we were like, okay, what are all the things we need to do? We got like we sat in the bus and we just like made a list. We got to take everything out. We got to put everything in. We got to do it. How are we gonna do it? Um, and then. We called up a bunch of our friends and was like, hey, do you guys want to help us demo out this bus? And they did. There was like probably 15 of us. Mm-hmm. Your parents came in town. Uh-huh. Well, my so my parents um, 
my parents owned Dick Craft Tools, so they had this big industrial warehouse. So this is where you're doing. So this that is was where we're doing my all next the question. Was, right. Yeah, where so we we had a place right. to keep the bus yeah. inside and work on, and um, I think my dad had just built this second portion to his building that was really not being used, and so it was really an easy like come work over here. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's where we did. So your mom still owns Dinkraft. Yes, my mom still owns Dinkraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. And she owned it. Dinkraft she owned tools. it then. She owns it Dinkraft now. Tools. Dinkraft, Dinkraft right. tools. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So that was. What year was that? Twenty. That was twenty. Well, I think it was still twenty fourteen. Two thousand fourteen, yeah. and we started working on it in two thousand fourteen, and we didn't end up rolling out until two thousand fifteen. Yeah. Honestly, until a full year. We got it, it in way November. Longer than we thought. Well, we got it in it. November, and it sat over the holidays. Oh, because the holidays were. Because we were like, trying to figure out what to do, and then like Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and whatever. Oh, so then yeah. in January, we we demoed it out, yeah. and then I think we started construction. That's right. Probably in February or March. Mm-hmm. What's family thinking over the holidays that you've just got this bus and you're sat then you've got Thanksgiving, Christmas coming up, you're sat around the family and they're just yeah. like, so what are you guys up to? You having kids anytime soon? <laughs> yeah. Like, actually, no, we have this yeah. giant yeah, 1972 sorry, bus. Now my I mean, I will say, so, so, <laughs> so thankfully, like Lori was said, like, like she comes from a long line of entrepreneurs. Right. My dad uh, started and sold probably three different businesses. My right. mom started her own business. Um, like it just, it, it's a normal thing. So like, yeah. They, so really, like, the con- really conversation is it, nothing but enthusiasm, right? Yeah. And so it's really strange because, like, some of our closest friends were just like, I just can't believe you would do that. I they just would, can't yeah. imagine you doing that. <laughs> and there was, there's, like, and even to, I mean, I think I understand it a little bit more now. But at the time, I just remember, like, I don't understand why this would be scary for you. I just don't know. There's just not a frame of reference. I think either because either we were really naive at the time, but I think again, like there's this like, what's the worst that can happen? Like it doesn't work. We sell the bus. Yeah. Like, and then we go home. Like, and we're just done. Maybe we were young enough to like (laughs) not let that. 